I think I started to like hockey at probably about the age of about five. It was like walking or like breathing and it was an escape. My mom would be waking me up at about five o'clock in the morning to get dressed in my hockey gear in order to go to the rink. Going back to that period of time, I was the only black young man playing hockey. It started to be with the N-word. And my father always told me that um, if you're just one of the guys, uh, they don't bother you. But if you start to be maybe a little better than some of the guys, that's when they notice you and that's when they'll throw that kind of stuff at you. The night that everything happened at February 18th, 1973, there was a rivalry between Barry and I, which were, we were two of the better players on the team. It's just when the N-word starts to surface and it becomes more and more predominant throughout the game. The N-word is incredibly embarrassing. It's humiliating. You feel like you want to crawl under a table because how do you respond to that? At that point, I went to the dressing room and I had had enough. I decided to myself that this evening, something has to change. I remember saying, either you're going to apologize to me or I'm going to kick the you-know-what out of you. And his response was, ha, me apologize to you? And I think I may have tried to throw a punch at him. I remember him coming toward me, at which point I kicked out at him. I just remember him, him falling to the, to the ground and me being in disbelief of what had, what had happened. Nevertheless, I'm responsible for it whether it be that he was anticipating the kick and it made him vomit, uh, which he choked on, which he choked on his vomit, uh, or it was that the kick landed, but there was never a mark on his body. Uh, that day my life changed. I, uh, I was no longer a kid. Uh, my naive day was gone. I really didn't have any idea of the magnitude or gravity of the situation. There were a number of different protests that took place. I was a 16-year-old kid. I didn't know what to make of it, except for the fact that I knew someone was fighting for me. Black Lives Matter! What's going on in the U.S. right now is somewhat bittersweet. You know, these things have been going on for a very, very long time. The only thing that's changed is the fact that we're, we're recording them. Maybe we've seen enough. And I absolutely believe this is that moment in time for change. We are no different than the United States when it comes to racism. We're not. But the underlying current here in Canada of racism is far more dangerous because you just don't see it coming. I believe that racism begins in the home and I think we need to be really mindful of our words, our choice of words, because words matter. I am just a segue into this is what it looked like then, this is what it looks like today and it really isn't any different but we have a chance for change that's it